Hello everybody, welcome back to my new video. And I don't want you guys to get jealous or anything over this, but I um, managed to get the uh, this thing. So this is a Lightwell uh, Street S20. Um, street, very original name. And this is a fixture that I actually placed myself um, in April, I believe it was. And um, someone crashed into the pole it was on and then uh, it came off. But yeah, more on that later. So this is a one of the cheapest fixtures, um, or the most che the cheapest fixture by the brand, uh, brand Orange Light, which is a brand that makes LED fixtures, which I think isn't the most, is a pretty all right brand. Um, I would say it was like a quite good brand if they didn't make this fixture, because um, this is actually a really trashy streetlight fixture. Um, so let's start with some positives before we go all negative. It's quite small, which isn't necessarily a positive thing, but um, I mean, makes this thing uh, really easy to put on the pole. And also a very nice thing is the fact that it's not that heavy, um, which is for the, uh, um, when you have to put your fixer up, it makes it very easy. So the, uh, kind of have to admit that that's where all the uh, positive things end but yeah this fixture was uh, uh, put up to light up a uh, cycle pack which I mean it did its job but um, yeah let's talk about the design of this fixture this one's actually very like eerily similar to another fixture I don't really remember the name of it but I think some Dutch collectors might know which fixture it is. Uh, this I don't know who came up with this design verse first, but um, yeah, someone uh, has to copyright this design because I don't really want to see these on the street anyway. So um, actually, the opening of this fixture is very. Uh, I mean, it looks a bit more high quality than it actually is. So we have one very big screw on the top here, um, which. And just unscrew of course which goes quite easily um, then the fixture itself opens and a normal fixture uh, or at least a fixture that like opens like this will have a clip that automatically like uh, keeps the fixture from falling on your fingers or anything this one uh, I mean why not but it does actually have a clip which um, I had to wire up most of these fixtures as well, and I didn't even know they had a, like a clip for this. And I mean, I kind of hurt my fingers a lot of the times, but after a while I found out. And this is a very good system now, but it keeps the, uh, the top of the fixture from falling on your fingers. So the next thing, my uh, next thing I don't really like about this fixture is the fact that it's so small and it does have a very big driver in it. And as you can see, that makes your wiring job like tedious actually. Um, so we spent the whole day wiring these things up and um, just constantly getting annoyed because of the fixtures. So yeah, a very big driver. And as you can see, this thing here that keeps water uh, from coming into the fixture is also impossible to screw tight because of the driver that's underneath I mean uh, with all these fixtures we actually damage the drivers right here and there's also which is I feel like it's a bit of a mistake they made with the design there's this little thing right here um, which is also to prevent the cable from uh, sliding out of the fixture but when you actually put the cable in here and then let it go back to uh, your connection block you can, can't actually close the fixture, it just does not work anymore. Um, that's how compressed this fixture is. So yeah, um, the LEDs are on the top right there, which actually seem to be very decent LEDs. Um, they look high quality and they actually, I mean the light they produce isn't horrible or anything. But of course, gotta put this clip back in place. And yeah, this is actually made out of, or it's actually, I feel it's glass. I believe it's made out of glass, hard to tell, but I mean, it's, 
if it's uh, actually plastic then they did a really nice job of making it look like it's glass and um, also one thing is the fact with this is that you have to actually be very careful to not um, have these wires around on this because it will um, actually like push through the wires when you close the fixture because it's been you have to close with a screw and it will actually like make the copper visible which uh, we actually had to return to quite some fixtures that um, or with the fixtures this came loose or it actually like the wires got struck in here and it shorted um, but yeah outside of that there's not really that much to this fixture um, admittingly it's been made in March 2019 and so it's been placed three years later actually oh yeah this uh, last thing this is actually the part where you can um, install the fixture in a certain degree which is also very like ridiculously cheap I mean you can actually if you not if you don't screw these extremely tight you can actually just push the fixture downwards with your hands which is ridiculous but yeah um, that's enough about the inside should be very careful that I don't um, strip any wires here and let's uh, screw this thing back together right here won't screw it too tight so um, it does have some proper cooling on here which is a good thing and um, also this pigeon here seems very small but um, there's actually that's the part that broke off the pole but there's actually normally for the Dutch pole standards Dutch poles are like a lot thicker than most countries um, we have this this normally like only pole as well or only fixture as well so I mean then you can put them on poles with different diet diameters so um i mean i think all we can do is turn this thing on again and laugh a bit so there's a lot of wiring here that's because there's six meter cable right here but um let's turn this thing on which actually the light isn't uh like very awful it's very bright it does hurt your eyes but i mean I think we all kind of got used to that with LED but I mean it's it's very bright for a fixture this small but I mean the light itself is uh, not that bad I have to admit which yeah, I had said that I don't really do these fixture reviews anymore but honestly like this thing would be a 3 out of 10 or something I don't know kind of sucks but yeah that's uh, the street S20 Lightwell Street S20 for you guys and hope you like this fixture more than me and if not it's fine and if you like it then I'm very happy for you but, I mean it's not really my thing but yeah thanks for watching uh, have a nice day and, and let me know in the comments what you think of this fixture